Hi, I'm Nolan Hill. I've lived all over the country, and a few months ago, I pulled up stakes and moved here. And now, I'm showing you the Texas Panhandle with fresh eyes. Welcome to The View from the Hill. Well, um, 2019 is our eighth Amicon. We started it back in 2012, and it was an experiment. That year, we were in the Heritage Room. The entire con was in a single room at the Civic Center. We had 1,600 people come, and we were delighted and had no idea it would be that successful. In the years since then, it has only grown. We now take over the whole north half of the Civic Center building. We're in both the large exhibit halls, still in the Heritage Room. We've added the Regency Room. Sometimes we're even over in the Hospitality Room because we just have a lot going on. We like to say that Amicon is a celebration of comics, anime, gaming, sci-fi, steampunk, and everything else that's geeky and awesome. We use the slogan, explore the awesomeness, because there's a lot to explore and a lot to do at Amicon, and, and all of it is awesome. The anime world is huge. Um, people who are fans of anime and manga um, come out and they have some of the most colorful and creative costumes, and that's really fun. But a lot of the standbys um, that continue to reinvent themselves and to become more fascinating as time goes by, Star Wars, Star Trek, um, everything in the Marvel Universe and the DC Universe, these are characters and stories that have been around for getting close to a century now. And they are continually reinventing themselves and becoming uh, a source of joy for um, new generations. One of the things we pride ourselves on for Amicon is that there is a lot to do and a lot to learn, in addition to a lot to see. So we always try to have activities that are um, educational and enriching, along with the cosplay contests and the gaming tournaments. And of course, you can learn a lot from a gaming tournament. Um, we have panels with authors and we um, have workshops on writing, we have workshops on learning how to draw. One thing we're very proud of about Amicon is that we have kept the cost low. We don't ever want a family to be saying, oh wow, buying that many tickets is gonna get pretty expensive. For basically less than the cost of uh, attending a movie, you ought to just come and check it out because you'll probably enjoy it. I have talked to a lot of people who have said, this is really not my area of enthusiasm. I'm not really a comic book reader or a sci-fi enthusiast, but I loved coming to Amicon and walking around and seeing the people. The people who come to Amicon are awesome. They're so creative. They have put so much work and effort and creativity into the costumes that they create um, or to the art that they create. We have an art show at Amicon that is organized by the Amarillo Museum of Art. That is one of the most fun things about Amicon because the people who come are so excited to be there. They're so excited to see one another. They're complimenting one another on their cosplay. They're going up to people and saying, can I take my picture with you because your cosplay play is so awesome. One year there was uh, there was this little little young man in his Batman pajamas and he was running past this group of teenagers and they all started cheering him on and going run Batman save the city. It was beautiful. Last year uh, we estimated our total attendance to be between eight and nine thousand people. That includes some duplication of people who came on both days. Um, so we expect to be at that level or higher this year. The enormous success of some of the Marvel and DC movies and you know television shows like the re, um, re-emergence of Star Trek in movies and television and shows like Stranger Things have sort of expanded geek culture. They've made it possible that, um, for anyone to be a geek. And, People who uh, come to the come, come to Comic Cons and particularly to Amicon um, are coming to spend a couple of days in the company of people who enjoy these pop culture phenomenons as much as they do. So there's a lot to do and a lot to see. And even if you think maybe the geek world is not your world, come and check it out. <laughs>